It's in plain sight. And Mr. Giuliani has told any number of news outlets exactly when and why he became interested in the issue. It had nothing to do with the 2020 election. Mayor Giuliani began investigating Ukraine corruption and interference in the 2020 election way back in November of 2018, a full six months before Vice President Biden announced his candidacy and four months before the release of the Mueller report, when the biggest false conspiracy theory in circulation that the Trump campaign had colluded with Russia during the 2016 campaign was still in wide circulation. As The Hill reported, as President Trump's highest profile defense attorney, the former New York City mayor, often known simply as Rudy, believed the Ukrainians' evidence could assist in his defense against the Rus Russian collusion investigation and former special counsel Robert Mueller's final report. So Giuliani began to check things out in late 2018 and early 2019. The genesis of Mayor Giuliani's investigation was also reported by numerous other media, uh, media outlets, including CNN, which related that Giuliani's role in Ukraine can be traced back to November 2018, when he was contacted by someone he describes as a well-known investigator. The Washington Post and many other news outlets reported the same information. So yes, Mayor Giuliani was President Trump's personal attorney, but he was not on a political errand. As he has stated repeatedly and publicly, he was doing what good defense attorneys do. He was following a lead from a well-known private investigator. He was gathering evidence regarding, regarding Ukrainian election interference to defend his client against the false allegations being investigated by Special Counsel Mueller. But the House managers didn't even allude to that possibility. Instead, they just repeated their mantra that Giuliani's motive was purely political. And that speaks volumes about the bias with which, with which they have approached their mission. The bottom line is, Mr. Giuliani defended President Trump vigorously, relentlessly, and publicly throughout the Mueller investigation and in the nonstop con congressional investigations that followed, including the attempted Mueller redo by the House Judiciary Committee, which the managers would apparently like to sneak in the back door here. The House managers may not like his style. You may not like his style. But one might argue that he is everything Clarence Darrow said a defense lawyer must be. Outrageous, irreverent, blasphemous, a rogue, a renegade. Fact is, in the end, after a two-year siege on the presidency, two Inspector General reports, and a $32 million special counsel investigation, turns out Rudy was spot on. Seems to me, if we're keeping score on who got it right, on allegations of FISA abuse, egregious misconduct at the highest level of the FBI, alleged collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, and supposed obstruction of justice in connection with the special counsel investigation. The score is Mayor Giuliani four, Mr. Schiff, zero.